The aurora, the northern lights, those beautiful green, purple and red streaks in the night sky. It's what every professional landscape photographer seeks when they head to northern latitudes. However, as any working pro will tell you, the lights can be terribly fickle. First off, you need a clear night sky and then you need sufficient solar winds to produce a display. More often than not, photographers come away from a night in the cold completely empty handed. There is another way, however. By taking a donor image of an aurora sky and then precisely blending it with a low light landscape scene, you can bypass the need to stand out in the cold, hoping some solar winds come your way. The trick with this technique is to make the most of the precise masking features that Affinity Photo 2 offers and to pick the best blending mode to make the merger look as natural as possible. So with both your donor aurora image and your low light image, open in Affinity Photo 2's Photo Persona, we can get started. We're going to select our Aurora donor image first. I'm going to head up to Select, and then Select All. This will select the whole frame, and you can see the marching ants dancing around there, confirming the selection. We're then going to head up to Edit, and scroll down to Copy, to copy all of these pixels. We can now close down the Aurora image as we don't need it anymore. Back at our low light landscape, we're going to head up to edit, scroll down to paste, and you guessed it, this has pasted our Aurora image on top of our low light landscape image. And you'll see a new layer has been created in the layers panel, and it's automatically selected ready for us to work on. We next head over to the toolbar and select the move tool because that has a high likelihood that you need to resize your image. And that's certainly what I need to do with my image. You can zoom out to get a better look at the canvas. And I'm gonna drag this image here so it ends where the mountain meets the sky. This will mean there's actually less pixels to get rid of later. Okay, here's where the magic starts. We're going to change the blending mode. So head back to the layers panel and change the blending mode, which is set at normal as default to either lighten or screen. I think lighten works best in this instance. And you'll see already the effect is coming together with the pixels seeping through from the layer below. Now, of course, the problem is this area here where the Aurora pixels run out and we need to fix this. So we're gonna head back to the layers panel and select the mask tool, which is identified by a circle within a square. Click on it and select mask. And then we head back over to the toolbar and select the paintbrush tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is B. Make sure that the brush is set to black and has a hardness of 0%. You can actually change the size of the brush using the square bracket keys. What we're gonna do is just paint out the pixels that we don't want in the frame. So we're gonna go around this mountain ridge here and just take these away. And this area in particular will be difficult because it's quite a high intensity color. So there's a lot of contrast between the, the two layers. So just take your time with this. And if you do make a mistake, don't worry. All you need to do is change the color of the brush from black to white. And then you can paint these pixels back in. Change the size of the brush to get more control over the precise nature of the masking. And there we go. So let's just turn this layer off to see how our image started and back on. And you'll see that lovely Aurora effect coming through. But there's still room to improve this image and we're gonna fine tune the Aurora. So we're gonna head down to the layers panel and select the adjustments icon, which is identified by a half black, half white circle. Click on this and when the options appear, scroll down and select curves. Now you'll see this is at the top of the layers panel and if we adjust anything, it will affect the whole frame. So what we need to do is hold it onto the thumbnail and drag it down to pair with our Aurora layer. Head back to the histogram and use the mouse to draw out a rough S shape. And you'll see already that's added punch and contrast to the Aurora, making it look more natural. We're gonna repeat this step so we'll head down to the adjustments icon one more time. This time select HSL. You'll see it's already been paired with our Aurora layer, so we don't need to move this thumbnail. 
We want to ramp up the colour, so head to the dialog box and find the saturation slider. Drag this to the right and this will ramp up the colours. Don't go too far or you'll completely destroy the image quality. That looks about right at 28%. If I turn this off and on, you'll see how it's boosted the colour. There we go, we've gone from a fairly average low light landscape to one filled with an aurora sky. All you need to do now is head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD, or whatever you like. There we go, have fun adding an aurora sky to your low light landscapes, and I'll see you next time.